Hello there my friends, it's Terry from Vegs Test Creates uh, back with a follow-up video to show you what I have been making uh, using my um, Derwent Colorsoft uh, pencil crayons um, kindly uh, gifted to me as part of my pen pusher ambassador role. So um, I, if you haven't seen the first video, I'll put a link to that here. And I'll also put a link in the description box below. You might want to just um, nip back now and watch the uh, unboxing video where I share the products and, and uh, swatch them out. Um, or if not, you can just watch this video and then go back and um, watch that, that one after. But um, essentially, I wanted to try out some of the Derwent um, Colour Soft pencil crayons. Um, I have never tried uh, metallic pencil crayons. So if we take, start with this one first, um, these are the set um, that I was very kindly sent by Pen Pusher, um, and they are beautiful. They're absolutely gorgeous. I used, uh, I can't remember the exact colors, but I think I used um, green, yellow and copper on the leaves. So on the bloom I used um, red and yellow uh, for some highlights on the edges and then I added in uh, pink and uh, purple. I believe it's called purple, yeah. Um, so pink um, for a darker um, shade and then um, purple for some more depth. Um, so those are the colours that I've, I've used and um, I use this gorgeous uh, stamp set actually from um, Concord and Ninth or Altenew. Uh, I shall put the name of the stamp set I used in the uh, description box below. Um, and so I coloured them up. Well, first of all, I stamped and heat embossed it in white embossing powder and then coloured uh, the bloom and the two separate leaves up. Um, and the colouring was just, I mean, the lay down of the pencils is just beautiful. It's like butter and um, they blend effortlessly, as you can see, um, you know, that they've got such a gorgeous shine on them on this this black paper um it's stunning really really beautiful um and then i cut the um each individual element out with the coordinating die and then i took a piece of the same black paper that i had colored on um and then I used my Fintech um, pearl colours in the Magical Creatures set um, that I used in my um, last lot of pen pusher videos uh, for September, um, which again, I'll put a link uh, to the unboxing one of that in the description box for you because that paint set is just beyond it's amazing um, and I thought that the colours would really tie in well with the metallics and as you can see I was right they they, they really do basically these these paints like change colour um, in the light and also whether you, you use them on um, black or white cardstock so I added some splatter uh, with a few of those colours and um, if you're a regular to my channel, you'll probably know this, but if you're not, then you won't. Um, I have been really trying to, I've been practicing a lot over the last sort of um, year or so uh, with hand lettering using a, a variety of different brushes, um, like brush pens, should I say, um, with the aim of wanting to incorporate hand lettering into my card making. Um, and I've actually... Um, used a very fine paintbrush to um to paint this sentiment myself so i know it's only very simple uh you know a very short word and a pretty easy one but i'm actually so proud of myself that i managed to do that um you gotta celebrate those you know those little victories um because that's what i've been working towards incorporating my hand lettering into my card making so there we go so i'm really pleased with with this one um i matted the panel onto some um blue frost um, pearlescent cardstock from tonic studios um, and this is a six by six card panel um, and as you can see with the nice neat borders i just went down a quarter of an inch in my cutting measurements um, i've added a few um 
little different coloured uh, gems that I thought would tie in nicely. And so there we go, that is the first card. And then the second card that I created uh, is this little cutie. And this was using um, a variety of the uh, Colour Soft pencils uh, stored here in a Hellman's uh, mayonnaise jar. Um, not product placement, I'm not affiliated with Hellman's. It was just an empty jar and somewhere to put my pencil crayons. Um, but yeah, so basically the the regular non-metallic colour soft pencil crayons are just as beautiful as the uh, metallics. Um, I coloured this up last night. Um, my husband had gone out and I was uh, had a very healthy tea of a couple of uh, cookies and um, some sweets and I was watching craft videos on the telly and colouring. So brilliant, brilliant Saturday night for me. Uh, rock and roll lifestyle that I do lead. Um, but yeah, so I coloured this up then and, um, you know, the light wasn't that good, but, you know, it... Um, I think it's turned out pretty well. Um, but in terms of the, the experience of the colouring, again, I used um, a few different shades of red. I used red, scarlet and dark red um, for the majority, um, you know, the, the biggest sort of elements in the in this piece, which is the sleigh, uh, which the little elves are uh, tidying up and getting ready, uh, getting ready for, for this Christmas. Um, this set is the uh, Made by Elves, um, part of the Made by Elves release by uh, Craft Consortium um, in partnership with Hell's Coupleditch. Um, and I love these sort of really cute little whimsical um, designs. And so this, this paper is from the 6x6 six six pad and uh, this is one of the stamps. And um, this beautiful... Um, ribbed craft paper is from Frisk, um, a Manchester based um, in the UK company, uh, which again I talked about in my unboxing video. This paper is lovely to colour on. Um, if you're sort of wondering like, oh, you know, like I was at first, I wonder how well that will be to colour on. Like, is, it, is, is the fact that it's ribbed going to make it difficult? And the answer is no. Um, and also I stamped a sentiment out of my stash onto it and that stamp, that's just one stamp, it's perfect. So the fact that the card is ribbed, uh, the paper is ribbed, does not have any effect, any negative effects. It's beautiful to colour on. Um, so that's pretty self-explanatory there. And then I just went round with a bit of uh, dove grey here. And the idea is obviously they're outside in the snow. Um, so it's just a snowy, snowy background and we've got a bit of cloud, cloud blue in the sky and some white pencil crayon. Um, and there we go. So that is two cards, um, that I've made this month with, um, two different types of Derwent Colour Soft pencil crayons and, um, Obviously, these were gifted to me uh, by Pen Pusher as part of my Pen Pusher ambassador role. Um, but you know, I am I'm a very honest person, and my followers will know that these products are a joy to work with. Um, you know, they both like they're they're quite soft. I mean, I'm no expert in pencil crayons. It's not as if I've used millions of brands. I haven't. Um, I've got a set of Prisma colour ones, a small selection that I have used that I quite like. Um, and I've got some Arteza watercolour ones that I tend to just use as, as regular pencil crayons. But you can immediately tell that these are different, that, that they're very soft and easy to blend. And particularly the metallics, I just sort of fell in love with them. Um, but if you're looking for some just normal pencil crayons to... Um, to, to use in your colouring, whether you like adult colouring books or, or like me, if you're into card making. Um, they're not the cheapest, um, but you can buy them in open stock. So Pen Pusher sent me um, a very generous selection. Uh, and then I went back onto the website and bought myself some more colours because I really wanted a good selection of purples and teals and you know, um, I wanted just different colours, so I went on and bought myself some more. So, you know, that's 
that's also you know an indication that yes I was gifted some of these items but I've bought some myself because I liked I liked them um you know and uh, I wanted to widen my selection so um I think you know if you if you're looking for some high quality um pencil crayons then um you know I, in my personal opinion these may be a good choice for you so um there will end my video for today uh, as i say if you um are interested um in watching the unboxing and you haven't already watched it it'll be in the description box below as well um some other um videos that i did last month um with my pen pusher products that i've talked about um so i really hope you've enjoyed this video um and if you it was your first uh, visit to my channel and you've just stumbled across this an extra special welcome and um, this is the kind of thing that I do um, you know I, I usually do um, project shares or tutorials or partial tutorials uh, you know I'll show you a bit of me colouring for example and then um, go away finish the rest off camera and then come back and show you the end result have a mooch around my channel it'd be great if you if you did like the video for you to use your thumb and give it a like to let me and YouTube know that you liked it um, and yeah thanks for spending this time with me I really appreciate every moment that um, anyone visiting my channel spends with me so thank you very much and i will see and speak to you soon with some more crafty goodness bye for now